Hello, I'm Joseph Renier for Seacor Marine. This is a story about vision and innovation and about a company on the leading edge in offshore marine transportation. It's the story of evolution from the first 65-foot crew boats to the modern-day fleet of 190-foot fast support vessels and beyond into the vessels of the future. It's the story of how Seacor Marine and Maverick fleet owner Norman McCall join forces to define the future of offshore crew transportation. The crew boat was born out of necessity. Necessity for speed and efficiency in delivering crew and small amounts of cargo to offshore drilling rigs and production platforms. And when the oil field first started, there were no boats as we know them today in the Gulf. You know, taking care and supplying the offshore industry. As the owner of a fleet of more than 20 crew boats operating in the Gulf of Mexico, Norman McCall had always been an innovator. From the early days when a 65-foot aluminum hull crew boat was the best in class, McCall was always looking for ways to push the envelope. Impossible was not a part of his vocabulary. So when told by marine engine manufacturers that his request for less weight and more power was impossible, well, McCall engineered the solution and built a vessel that was the largest and fastest of its kind. Well, to go back 30 years ago, 65 foot or 77 foot crew boats, twin engines, that was the norm. Then Mr. McCall stepped it up and came out with the first four engine, 110 foot crew boat. And that was unheard of. This evolution of crew boat size and power continued, and McCall's success was legendary. McCall's vision of where the market was headed and his determination to push the standards of performance were a perfect fit with Seacor's corporate philosophy. And so, Seacor Marine, an industry leader with a solid track record, an experienced management team, and a global reputation for dependable vessels, merged with McCall and added crew boats to an already impressive fleet of anchor handling and offshore supply vessels. This marriage paved the way for the transformation of the simple crew boat into a fast support vessel, packed with technology that has revolutionized the industry. But just what is an FSV, fast support vessel? And how is it different from a crew boat? An FSV is generally defined as an aluminum hull vessel 145 feet or longer with a variety of features not seen on smaller crew boats. Innovations such as dynamic positioning, ride control, bulk tanks, and more. Today, Seacor's FSVs are the most advanced and capable vessels in the offshore market, each a true breakthrough in design and engineering. The FSV's ability to move large amounts of cargo at speeds almost twice that of conventional vessels is a huge leap forward for the industry. Among its many milestones is the impressive fact that Seacor was the first company ever to equip an FSV with dynamic positioning. The 462 will be the first DP2 crew boat in the world. Uh, by DP2, I mean that it will be able to hold station next to a platform uh, against any failures except those produced by fire and flooding. That means that no single point failure can cause this vessel to lose station. DP controls the vessel's motion in three horizontal degrees of freedom, surge, sway, and yaw. Vessel movements are measured by a gyro compass and position reference systems. Now, these measurements are corrected for roll and pitch using readings from a vertical reference sensor. What they used to do before they had DP is they used to uh, tie up to a back down buoy. By using just DP in general, they've cut about 30 hours off of their uh, the time they're actually at the rig is safety, it's, uh, it's, it's time, and, and then of course it's the redundancy factor, okay, because, which adds to the safety also, but, but now with DP2 that you have backups to everything. Another feature focused on increased safety and passenger comfort is ride control. Again, Secor was first. The ride control system is a stabilization system and it has low weight, low power, low cost, and limited exposure to damage from floating objects or grounding. The ride control system provides automatic stabilization or manual control of running trim and list, as well as automatic dampening of pitch and roll and the associated decelerations. This reduces total vessel resistance, which results in higher speed for a given power or reduced fuel consumption for a given speed. 
Additionally, and more importantly, the ride control system provides a smoother environment in rough waters and thus ensures passenger safety and comfort. Secor's FSVs also satisfy another customer need, fast delivery of materials usually carried by larger, slower vessels. Along with the usual set of water and fuel tanks, barites, cement, and now even liquid mud essential to drilling and production are transported in bulk tanks specifically engineered to custom fit and be secured on the deck of Secor fast support vessels or in tanks below. In fact, the 190-foot FSV will be used to top up supplies and provide specialized drilling mud. This boat differs from Secor's earlier mud-capable crew boats that use deck tanks to carry only the dry powder for making mud. Now with a capacity for 1,100 barrels and six tanks, the new boat will make 20 knots with a maximum load and 26 knots running light. The liquid mud is considered an environmentally hazardous material, which drives the requirement for the new boat to be DP2 equipped. To achieve a DP2 rating, all propulsion and maneuvering components must be redundant. This innovation also allows FSVs to carry passengers while the tanks are aboard. The result? Faster delivery to the platform and without the need for a full-time dedicated offshore supply or platform support vessel. A significant cost savings. You want more innovation? Take a look at CSP. CSP system is two functions of one system which uh, entails controllable speed propellers and also engine or vessel monitoring. The CSP provides an economical solution for DP applications because it reduces the horsepower required to maintain vessel position. Now this is achieved using computer control of the reduction gear to reach shaft speeds as low as 50 RPM on conventional gearboxes. Without this feature, the slowest achievable speed typically requires more horsepower to maneuver resulting in higher fuel burn and increased costs. Additionally, because only the shaft speed changes, the engine speed is virtually constant and engine exhaust smoke from the acceleration is virtually eliminated. The other facet of CSP is a computer monitoring and control system. CSP monitors any engine or piece of machinery as long as sensors are available or can be developed to receive data. It is fitted to existing alarm switches or sensors on equipment. Many catastrophic engine failures are the result of continuous operation of machinery out of normal parameters, such as low oil pressure or high temperature. Now, this can be due to non-functioning alarm systems, failure of the crew to react quickly, or the inadequacy of older alarm systems. CSP can overcome these problems and can thus reduce the downtime of the vessel. For example, the main propulsion system is interfaced into the monitoring system. Whenever readings occur out of normal operating range, the computer initiates pre-programmed commands. If a high coolant temperature is detected, a computer-generated voice informs the crew as to the exact nature of the problem, and an email is generated to alert their operational shore base to the problem. If the crew does not respond quickly and the coolant temperature continues to rise, the computer takes further action such as slowing down the engine or stopping it altogether before major damage results. In addition to being on the forefront of technology with ride control and CSP, Secor is one of the first offshore marine operators to install water jets as a source of main propulsion on large FSVs. These jets enable the vessel to travel faster in light conditions and also allow the vessels to operate in shallow water. The water jet system is less susceptible to underwater damage, thus reducing downtime and the need for dry dockings. Secor has experienced enormous success with the water jet propulsion system in environments where the water is shallow or debris is a hazard. The innovation doesn't stop there. Secor Marine is pioneering the use of a variety of digital enhancements that increase vessel safety and operational efficiency. Sea tracks, XM weather, and electronic charting, just to name a few. Locating a vessel in the vast expanse of the oceans of the world used to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. But that was yesterday. Today, Seacore Marine vessels are equipped with the state-of-the-art GPS integrated software known as Sea Tracks. This vessel tracking software allows for real-time monitoring of vessel position and voyage anywhere around the globe. 
C-Tracks enables C-Corps to provide its customers with reliable schedules, immediate response to offshore emergencies, and the ability to analyze routes. The result? Safer operations, better service, satisfied needs, inefficiencies eliminated, problems solved. Another C-Corps first is XM Satellite Weather. Now vessels at sea have real-time weather information that lets them avoid potentially dangerous storms. And electronic navigation charting, which does away with paper charts. It's updated weekly by NOAA to include hazards to navigation and other significant marine concerns. The payoff of innovation is more than increased operational efficiency and dollars saved. It is accidents averted and lives saved. Secor's investment in cutting-edge technology is only part of the story. Their investment in crew training, education and communication is equally impressive. All Secor crews receive extensive real-world emergency situational training, and crew members at sea are trained weekly on complex safety issues in a 50-week interactive video training program developed exclusively for Secor. The goal? The safest, most knowledgeable crews available anywhere. So that's where Seacorp Marine stands today, the leader in the development of marine systems that have become standards in the industry, raising the bar on safety, on innovation, on service, in operating the world's fastest, most modern, most efficient, and most technologically advanced fleet of fast support vessels. But what about tomorrow? What's on the drawing boards of some of the best naval architect and marine engineering minds in the nation? Well, if you consider the history of Seacor, the answer won't really surprise you. It's a vessel that's bigger, faster, and smarter than ever before. The Seacor Cruiser class is a 165-foot-long workhorse capable of carrying an amazing 150 passengers at speeds only dreamed about a few years ago. The twin hull design allows the vessel to plane across the water, reaching top speeds of an unheard of 42 knots, more than three times that of conventional crew boats. In addition to passenger duty, the cruiser will have 2,700 square feet of clear cargo area, the ability to carry bulk tanks, and an internal pumping system that will discharge at a rate of 80 PSI. The design is extremely fast, efficient, safe, and dependable. Inside, passengers will rest easy in rich, oversized first-class seating, enjoy a snack or meal service, watch flat-screen satellite television, or listen to satellite radio. Now, if somebody needs to send an email or get a jump start on work, wireless internet service is at their fingertips. Their safety will be enhanced by night vision, a system that allows Seacor captains to see in the dark, closed circuit television throughout the vessel, smoke and heat detectors, and CO2 firefighting equipment. Once on location, they'll board a revolutionary offshore personnel transfer system that replaces the traditional but potentially hazardous transfer of crew by personnel basket. The first cruiser class vessel is scheduled for delivery in December of 2007. Well, so now you know the story of the evolution of the fast support vessel. It's the story of safety and market-driven innovation taken to the next level by one of the most respected names in the industry. So, with all that I've told you and all that you've seen, do you think Secor is finished pushing the envelope? Me neither.